Hey guys, it's Luke McClay from Pocket Money Fishing here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to catch yabbies. So it's a very simple fishing method um, and it can be quite rewarding and you can do it pretty much anywhere that there's some fresh water. So let's jump straight into what you need to do it. Alright guys, for equipment it is very very simple. All we're going to need is one shallow but long net. So I've got a prawn net here that I've just tied up to make it a lot more shallow which is a lot very important when we're uh, fishing for yabbies because when we're trying to scoop them and we if we get them all the way to the bottom then it's going to be trouble with nippers and stuff like that so and it also needs a long handle so we can scoop them at range we'll show you how to use that in a sec next we just need a small bucket doesn't have to be this big that was just the bucket that i had on me um, just any bucket will do next inside the bag we're going to need a meat of choice so Right here we've got just a couple of skinned rabbits. That's only because we have been shooting them recently. But what I would highly recommend is some rabbit necks, or chicken necks, my bad, uh, from Coles or Woolies. You can buy probably a couple of kilos, a kilo for about five bucks, which is really cheap. And it's a lot of meat, and it's definitely worth your while. And I would say it's the best um, bait, but rabbit is all we have at the moment. Next, you need yourself some kitchen string, or any string for that matter. So you can even use um, knitting wool, or whatever that's called, that stuff's called. But I like kitchen string, String it's very strong, and you can see it easily where your string is placed, so you don't lose it. Uh, you can buy these really cheaply at just the supermarket. Then you just need a knife or something to just cut the stuff. So that's all you need, guys. Super, super easy. And let's get straight on to catching ourselves some yabbies for lunch. Now, I just wanted to make a quick comment as I'm walking down to where we're going to be yabbying. Timing in yabbying is extremely important. So, what you need is the hot months. I don't know if this is the same for America, so if you're watching in America, sorry. But if you're in Australia, um, warm months are very important. So, late spring, maybe even mid-spring to about um, late summer, early autumn. Um, because yabbies are a hibernating animal, so... Once you get into those winter um, and those colder days, you won't get a thing. So that's super, super important uh, to remember that. So when it comes to waterways, we're looking for something sort of smallish like this and very open from weed, but you still want a bit of cover, otherwise the yabbies won't have anywhere to sit. All right, so now guys, I'm gonna show you how to rig up a yabby line. So what we wanna do is we wanna get a decent length of line. So you probably want three or four meters worth of it. And then we'll just grab our knife and we'll just cut like that. So simple like that. Next, we want to grab our rabbit or meat of choice. So we don't want to chunk that big because we're trying to cover quite a bit of um, area. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut off a little chunk. There we go. So we've got a little chunk. We don't want too big. Otherwise, we'll use up all our meat before we even get a chance to set quite a few lines. So we'll whack that back in there. Now for the tying, we'll just get the end. There it is. And we will just tie it on. Very simple, just a couple of knots. So you'll find that chicken necks, if you do use chicken necks, will work very, very well um, for tying. But I would recommend avoiding cooked meat because uh, I've found that it doesn't attract yabbies as well. There we go. So we've got a nice little... Um, yabby line just there so we're going to whack that just into this little pull here so first off we want to tie it to some grass like so done nice then we grab our little line and we plonk it closer to the edges than further away from the edges because the yabbies will be sitting in the edge on the edge compared to um, in the middle because they're more sheltered that way. So we'll leave that right there and we will now go and set another one. All right, so I just pre-rigged probably six or seven more um, little chicken, I mean, more rabbit legs. <laughs> Normally I use chicken. So we're gonna move down to the better places in the river, better pools and We'll chuck in some bait. So I've got two in here and we'll come back for them later All right, so now we're at the better section of river and we'll just try and find a little point that we can get down Perfect and we'll drop it just here, which is this is a really nice spot because it's got a lot of cover 
with the little reeds and stuff here and it looks like it's pretty deep too which is brilliant we'll just tie that off and we'll come back later now we'll whack the other lines in and then we'll be ready for some yabbies like another one here last one so now we just what, give it a little bit and then we'll work our way back and pick up all our little strings. Alright, so now we're back at the original strings and what gives away the fact that we have a yabby on the line is when the line is really straight. So we can see here that this line is really straight and it looks to be almost moving. There's a high chance there's a yabby on the end of that one compared to this one over here which is very slack which means there's not such a high chance that there is a yabby on that end. So first we'll check here. You have to use a really finesse like technique and movements to pull these yabbies up because they're only holding on by their own will. And at the point that they realize they're about to be caught, they'll let go. So what we have to do is because they will hold on really tightly, so we have to move really slowly. So let's get this net in the water first so we can come in from behind and slowly work our way up. Now it's a really fine pinch to move up. You don't want to jitter too much or you will scare the yabby off the end of the line. I have a really bad feeling. I've already done that. So we want to just keep moving it up really slowly. Try not to make any jerking movements. And under this thing, and there we go. Two nice yabbies. So the moment I saw them is the moment that they can see me. So it's very important that you're very quick with the net and it's already in behind them. If you haven't put the net in first, you will scare off the yabby as it enters the water. So it's very key to have it already in the water. So here we have two very nice little yabbies. This one's getting out through a little hole. You can keep these, but I'm gonna let these little guys go because I'm just here to show you how to catch them. Normally we'd put them in that bucket with a bit of water and we can cook them up for dinner. I'm gonna do that in another video, but for now I'm just gonna let these little guys go so they can live another day. So you can see a very nice little yabby there. He's probably, even if I was eating him, which I'm not, he's a bit small um, for what I would normally eat. So, plonk him back. The other guy's almost got himself out, but he's not going to get out because his chest is bigger than his tail. There we go. Very nice. Let's chuck him back. Awesome. So, what we can do is we can actually reuse this meat and we'll chuck it straight back in there. Those yabbies won't come back, but we might be able to get some more. Let's keep going. Alright, so I've come back to these spots. I'm probably going to give it one more run through all the lines. And this one here is still extremely slack. You can see it's not a very sheltered area. It's quite sunny. It's pretty shallow. But this one is still moving, which is the one that we pulled yabbies off earlier. So I'm guessing that's because, well, actually I'm not guessing. I know because that because this is shaded. This is protected. Um, they've got a lot of cover in all these structure. And it's also a shorter line, which means we can see more easily the movements of the yabbies. Oh yeah, I definitely reckon we've got something on the end of that. So remember, slow movements. You can see that it's very important as with the last line we pulled up. There we go. Tiny little one. Nothing much, but a yabby all the same. Tons and tons of fun to catch. So let's see how the other lines are going. All right, so let's test out this line. So I'm gonna pull it in and I'm gonna pull it in for good once I'm done because, because I only wanted to do this to show you guys how to yabby. I'm not actually out here to yabby myself. Nope, that was absolutely crap. So that was a really bad pull by me. I felt the weight release, so I tried to swipe. I could have scared the Abby off. He might not have been off, but it was just very silly from me. On all accounts, I was just sort of rushing. That's why it's super, super key to slow it down and make sure you are really finesseful. I don't even know if that's a word, but we'll make it one for this video um, in your movements. So 
we can chuck this meat back in the water and we'll hang on to the line if I can get it undone so that's gonna end the video guys we did alright didn't do too good we got a few there was a few off camera that you guys didn't see but ultimately I hope you guys have seen this video and now know how to yabby well basic understanding of how to yabby ultimately the only way you can really get good at things is to actually try it yourself so go out there if you're near a freshwater creek dam or anything like that even like a drain you'll find yabbies and just have a crack at yabbying you know it doesn't take too much time it's really easy and it's really cheap so hope you guys enjoyed leave a thumbs up if you did leave a thumbs down if you didn't but please explain why because I only can improve and Awesome guys, have a great day. See you all.